So this is the first time ever that I didn't violate the coach's dress code. Bill always sends it out a day before. He must be very proud of us today. Normally for the last 40 games I, I massively violated it. I always came in whatever and then I read the message afterwards. I was like, ay yeah, okay. Today that, that is the first big thing. For the game we had a fantastic practice on Thursday. Our second pressing line worked for the first time phenomenally well. And I hope they can show the same thing in the game today and we will start with Duncan and Dehart on top again. Both of them came to halftime last week. I wasn't too happy and I got the question several times if I was a bit too hard after the game with the team after winning 6-0 and no. Any thoughts? I don't think that he was that hard. I thought he was honest to the players and I thought the players responded. That Thursday practice was fantastic. I mean, the players were motivated, excited, and it showed how they played. So, like Philip said, it's sort of exciting to see what happens today. It's a bit big, bigger than we're used to, but you know, football's football, so we're gonna go out, execute our plan, and hopefully come back with three points, continue this undefeated streak. Uh, I mean, so far with our momentum, the way our season's going, it's going pretty well. We're undefeated, we're gonna try to keep that today also. We'll bring the energy on the field and also on the bench too, so, yeah, try to keep this going. Always looking forward to a game. Uh, I think the biggest thing for today is the entire team just staying focused throughout the entire 90 minutes um, and playing the game like we want to play and not dropping dropping our game down to anyone else's level. Um, so just keeping that focus and we should come out with three points. Smart resources management today. And that means when you grab a bottle of water, make sure you know where it was, don't waste it. Whenever we have breaks in the game, come outside, get some water. Yeah, always rehydrate while the game is going on. Number two, what Xavier says, is absolutely your dogma today. Yeah, this must be your free thing religion. First minute, it's game time. Technically, I don't tell you anything today. Thursday, I just tell you Thursday. This is all I need to say. Yeah. Boys, you know what freaking time it is. Step on the field. If, if you don't get in this groove early, we have a possession now with the starting 11, get in this groove very, very, very early, get used to talk. Be loud as shit on the field. You felt all this energy coming. This doesn't come without communication. Yeah, And I need the bench for that as well. You play a very, very significant role today because you kept it rolling on Thursday as well. Yeah, There was an additional one piece speaking when uh, Duncan brought... Where's Duncan? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Duncan brought the freaking energy, like... Two, three actions in the beginning of the game is intimidating another team so badly. Like, I was a bit sorry for Luke. It was right here. It wasn't fun playing against him on Thursday, right? No, it wasn't fun. It was like every time there came a big shadow in the back, and you're like, shit! You, you played a big, you played an awesome part, but... It's Duncan. And Duncan, Duncan learns who he is. Week by week by week by week. Show us that today, please, okay? There's, there's no more holding back. You freaking unleashed today. Be, be wild, be free, have fun on the field, be loud, and then earn the fruits of your work. We start with, yeah, please. Uh, 
Also, the field's a bit wider than we're used to, so oh, yeah. when we're doing our press, make sure what, when we're pressing, we're, we all have to go, right? And if we're not pressing, we gotta we gotta all know that so we're not wasting energy because we're gonna be running all over the pitch today. Yeah, so let's just be smart. Well, I, I hope this is what we did for last the last year and got this in our brains. There is not a bit pressing. There's not a bit pregnant. And there's not a bit pressing. There's there's all in. Okay, all the time. Boys, we start with Brennan in goal. We have Julian and Martina center backs. Left back we start today with Justin, right back we start with Ziggy. Uh, double six, Matteo, Chris, ten Laki, and on top the triple D. This is basically it. And I want you to bring exactly that power, boys. I asked you on Thursday, I'm not sure if this is working with you guys, and you fucking made it working. So there's no excuse today. There's no excuse. Yeah? Look, um, Matt will go pretty quickly, Ziggy and Justin, as soon as you feel because you, you always have to close the gaps, you have to tuck in, you have to go the line. As soon as you feel we'll, we'll have a third, a third, a third, we'll, we'll try to share the work between you guys. As soon as you feel my energy is going low, directly raise your hand. Yeah, please, no false pride, loop in, bum, same pressure. And we maintain the same pressure. Yeah? yeah? Okay, boys, come on, this is ours. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. 
But again, we talked about something. Bringing these games home is so difficult. We were a little bit lucky in some situations. We were being unlucky in others. But still, three points. Lynchburg lost today, from what I heard. Um, my eyes are still on them. Their eyes are still on us. So we're moving. That's fine. Next three points. And um, Daniel, phenomenal individual quality saved us today. And Brennan, insane man. Insane. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Every week, every week. No, uh, 
A weekly tradition. Um, so, undefeated, key takeaway, clean sheet, 1 0 victory. Uh, performance was not good. But we come away with the three points. Good teams find a way to win even when they're missing players, even when they're performing bad, even when conditions aren't in their favor. I think all three of those were present today, but we got the three points this evening. And, you know, I'm going to say this one more time. I'm going to keep repeating myself. We are testing the material of our team, and we keep proving that we are indeed that team. So halfway through the season, 16 points out of total of 18 potential points. First place in the league, we move. Second half of the season coming up. ODC, baby. <laughs> And how was the game, man? Wow. Uh, it's a tough game out there. Hard fought battle. It's very, very physical. We're all banged up. Uh, good to come out of come out of it with three points now. Always, always wants to win these tough, rough, and scruffy games. But good teams find uh, they always find a way to win. And that's what we did today. Yellow cards on the on the field. A whole lot of yellow cards. That's just the type of game it was. <laughs> a whole lot of cards. A whole lot of tackles, crunching tackles. That's just a sport. That's how it is. I can't even translate it. There's a German saying and that says, um, arrogance always comes before you fall on your nose. And that nearly happened today. And we were pretty lucky a few times. Rock will did it very smart. They condensed in the spaces, uh, defended in a 4-4-2, made this, this, the center spaces very, very narrow for us. And we had some problems in the beginning building up in those spaces. And I, I have to say respect, they, they played well and I think in the end the luckier team won. And what is very important, what their coach told me after the game, he said, um, you guys know how to win games, that is a big difference. And this is basically the first season that we're bringing home these games, so I'm actually, I'm happier than after the 6-0 last week, or relieved, I don't know, however you want to call it. But it's three points in the end, and we keep moving from here. But there's, there's, there's still a lot to talk about in practice.